Okay, Isabel, tell us a little bit about that journal page you're working on. Well, um, I covered these both with a solid color, and I went over them with a complementary color and an analogous color, and I just wrote in them. This one I wrote, Create, and this one I wrote, 1 Timothy 4.12, which is my favorite Bible verse. And what kind of paints did you use on that page? I used um, some acrylic and some just regular craft paint. Awesome. Looks great. Thank you. Okay, Annika, so you're starting this page. Do you have a plan? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so you've got a little bit of what on there? White That's paint? That's white uh, acrylic paint. And what are you using on your... Craig Scoozer's card! Excellent. Good memories. Good memories. So you're just spreading it on there. Is it super thick or what's the um, goal? I'm trying to get it to cover up most of the lines. That's pretty much all I've got so far. Yes, because we did buy super cheap journals at Big Lots because we knew we were going to just kind of get into them, but she doesn't want lines on that page, so she's going to cover it up. <laughs> all right, we're eager to see what you do with it. Okay, Talia is really proud of this page, so she wants to tell us how she did it. Well, um, I painted the background on this one with the yellow, blue, and green. And I folded it over while it was still wet on this page when it wasn't painted. And I took it back off and it was ripped and I really liked it. And then I painted this one red and purple. And um, it was all folded and I really liked that. It's so. yeah, a cool effect. Can't wait to see when you guys actually put some stuff and some journaling on here. That already has your built-in lines for writing mm -hmm. where the page is ripped. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. cool. Okay, okay so. Annika. She has a special technique she used and she wants to explain it to us. So This is the brush I used. I have no idea where this came from. We got this with a painting kit we had when we were little. But I found it and I liked it. So I'm going to show you what it does. So, take some colors. Put them on a tablet. Some blue. Otherwise known as a palette. Yeah, a tablet. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> um, what I'm doing is I'm going in order from like, dark, um, in just color order, how they kind of would blend together. Okay. Because that adds the effect. That's not too much paint for the paper. Mm -mm. Last time I had acrylic paint, this is just regular craft paint. And then I took a paintbrush, which, let me see if I can find one here. Okay. And then I kind of blended them together in the middle, in between the colors, but I left the solid colors as well because you need each separate color. Just, just lightly is what I, how much I did it. <clears throat> And then I'm going to do that all the way across. Mm, I like the red to the orange. That looks cool. Did I just say orange? <laughs> I think she did. Like a New Jersey person. And then the last is... Okay, now as well leave it like that. Do not touch it. And then that's done. And then what I do with this brush is I take it. Okay. Press it down. Sure. Oh, cool. I like yeah. it. And then I can do like random little blocks here. Oh, I like that. That looks cool. Very sweet. So yeah, ta-da. Voila, good job. And Isabel's working over here on a new page, lending a little bit. Very fun. We're just building up our pages right now, and then they're going to start putting in different words and different um, things they've collected from art prize. And these are going to be true art art journals. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like the little feather, almost like wings. And that looks really cool. I yeah, did that on accident. Really cool. Accidents are awesome. All right, good job, girls. All right, Isabel. Isabel really loves this page she just finished. It's really cool. So she wants to tell us how she did it. So, go. Okay, what I first did was take a piece of wax paper. I threw it away now because it's all paint. No. And I took some white and I put a lot on. And I took a paintbrush 
this kind of paintbrush and just dabbed it to make it textury. Mm -hmm. And then I added just a little bit of orange and I did add a little bit of this. But it was all liquidy, so that didn't work out. Okay. And I mixed up the orange in it. And then what I did was take this piece of wax paper, flip it over, stick it on, push it, I pressed it down, I took it off, and I did that. Looks then fantastic. I, kind of, I took this brush again and I just kind of blended it to the edges. Very cool. Nice job.